Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day thus far. And so in this video, we will be talking about the possibility for us to see development in the Caribbean. So now we have an area that is highlighted by the National Hurricane Center that is to be watched. And so uh, there are other disturbances as well that we will briefly take a look at. But uh, that one in the Caribbean will be the main focus of this video. And so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and, and to show support for the channel you can leave a like on this video Okay, and so let us go ahead and kickstart things with current satellite view of the basin. And so we're seeing here that uh, there is quite a bit of activity that is noted. There are two tropical waves that are in the region. One has recently entered the Eastern Caribbean and another is out in the main development region. And so uh, let's take a closer look at these various areas. And so here we are seeing the Eastern Caribbean and there is quite a bit of activity going on here. We see a lot of showers and thunderstorms uh, that are affecting some areas such as Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and even the ABC Islands as well. And uh, we also see a bit of activity within the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago and also northern portions of Guyana and in Venezuela. So it is likely that some of these areas are experiencing some inclement weather at this time. And as for most of the Lesser Antilles, though, we're seeing here that things are a little bit more on the quiet side, maybe some passing clouds bringing along with them some showers. So guys, uh, across Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, uh, extensive periods of heavy rainfall can result in flash flooding across flood prone areas. So please have that in mind and please do not take any unnecessary risks. And so guys, now let us go ahead and take a look at uh, what is currently going on in terms of those disturbances. So we have that first one, Invest 94L. It failed to develop into a tropical or subtropical cyclone. And so uh, now chances are just completely diminishing for the system to become anything out there. And by the next update in the next two hours, three hours or so, this should be off the radar, at least from the time I'm making this update. And then uh, as for this other disturbance, we have that low pressure area and that is in association with the trough that is inducing all of the activity across portions of the Eastern Caribbean. And so uh, as we're seeing here, there is a 30% chance that we could possibly see development and are gonna be having that disturbance uh, making its way up to the north and drifting around within that shaded region and we could possibly see it getting itself together. However, it has limited time as conditions are expected to become less favorable as we're going to be progressing into the weekend. But of course, the main focus of this video is this disturbance here. And we're seeing that there is a 30% chance that we could possibly see some development within this area. So that low pressure area has not yet formed. That is why we're not seeing that X. But once it does, we're gonna see it. And this has really reminded me of storms as Julia that uh, developed several weeks ago. Uh, this could be a very different outcome though. Uh, models such as the GFS have been showing it for quite some time and showing something major becoming of it. But uh, that isn't impossible as I emphasized in previous videos. It is not impossible for us to see a major storm. However, conditions have to be conducive and for something, uh, for a prediction that is over 5-10 days out from now, accuracy decreases because of course uh, we're talking about the weather that changes so constantly and uh, what we're seeing for the long term in terms of the model runs is likely to change and things have been changing as expected. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the different model runs and what they're expecting. And then afterwards, we're going to look at uh, a water vapor map of the Caribbean. And so let's see what the GFS is showing now. And this is a map showing the isobars, which are the black lines, they're lines of equal pressure. And when we see them being circular with a pressure of at least 10, 13 millibars or lower, then we could be looking at a tropical cyclone. And so as you're going to be heading into Thursday, going to Friday, there we have GFS showing that system uh, developing out in the Atlantic and loitering there. And now GFS is 
uh, isn't expecting any very imminent development of that Caribbean system. So it is showing that it is well it is going to be uh, making its way south of Hispaniola there about that we start to see something become of it. And the model has it passed in south of Jamaica and making its way to Nicaragua and take note. The model also shows another system pop up that is quite interesting. But of course, as I said, not guaranteed to happen. So we're seeing something very different from what was there yesterday uh, with that at extreme hurricane expected. So uh, as I said, things are going to be changing. As for the euro, the euro is showing that disturbance intensifying and becoming something out there. But as for the Caribbean, we don't really see anything. We see that low pressure area and uh, we see that euro is expecting a continuous westward track with it taking it closer to Honduras. So uh, that is another possibility for that uh, disturbance. But again, it is too early to tell. And then ICON is expecting that there will be development of that or some development rather of that Atlantic disturbance. But as for the Caribbean disturbance here, uh, here we have the model expecting that we will certainly be seeing it trying to get itself together. So only time will tell. And then finally, let's look at the NAVGEM model, the Navy model here. And we are seeing that uh, it isn't really expecting development of the Atlantic disturbance, but we do see that intensifying Caribbean system. So all in all, we're having more models hopping on to this happening to us seeing development in the Caribbean. And at this point in time, I think it is getting more likely as well coupled with the fact that the National Hurricane Center now has an area highlighted where we could see that development happening in. So uh, there again, there is no guarantee of where the system will head to, but uh, you want to pay attention to this if you're on the ABC Islands, I would say in northern Venezuela, because if the system is going to be, uh, if that low pressure area is going to be forming within that area, which seems quite likely and drifting towards the west, then all of that activity associated with it is likely to spread inland if it is close in proximity to land. And uh, bring along with it some very inclement weather conditions and again extensive periods of heavy rainfall is likely to result in some flooding and so finally let's look at this water vapor loop and uh, we have the yellows and those oranges that indicate dry air meanwhile we have those whites those greens indicating moisture and so there we see that uh, the eastern Caribbean definitely has a lot more moisture than the western and central portions of the uh, of the basin and so even on satellite we can see where we don't really have much activity going on across the central and western side of the basin but all of that is to the east where that trough is uh, uh, enhancing all of that weather there and so the eastern Caribbean could definitely be brewing a tropical cyclone and again the next name to be used for this season is Lisa and if we have development of two of these disturbances meaning the one that is uh, going to be drifting up to the north and possibly developing out in the Atlantic as well as that Caribbean disturbance then the next two names are Lisa and Martin so uh, both of these are given a 30% chance of possible development during the next five days so let's see what's going to be happening but of course the name doesn't really matter it is where it's being affected and if persons are prepared and of course guys I'm going to be keeping you posted on that so that is really it for this updated video and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and remember to always be with wise.